A poem is a strange beast. It often transverses despair, but still shines like a beacon of hope in the end. Because a poem always shows the path. This is Sunil Bhandari, and you are listening to Uncut Poetry. No revolution is complete without a ruined soul. And such two days go by, swallowed in the core of memory, even as I search for what remains and what I can forget. I look back to see if I had left behind trails of my voice, as if that mattered more than if they had reached. Maybe I should curl inside my pain, for whenever I have spoken of wounds, I have been told of bigger questions which needed a dressel now. As if my search for a quiet corner was an aberration of habit and a single voice of normalcy was the one which spelled anarchy. But I have seen charred desires and dried ambitions with my own eyes and know that no revolution is complete without a ruined soul. They say I am naive to think that anything which hurts even a single being is a heart-breaking unnecessity and that there is no larger flame than a little life. But time and again I have found that a single muscle straining against odds is enough to curve a sunbeam to itself and hope then becomes an unparalleled war cry. But time and again I have found that a single muscle straining against odds is enough to curve a sunbeam to itself and hope then becomes an unparalleled war cry. I stay in Calcutta, and wherever I walk I know I do so on hallowed ground, unseen but still fallow with the blood of revolutionaries. It's another matter that whilst some of it was a fight for freedom, some of it was misguided for things which revolutionaries themselves lost sight of. The fight was for a cause, but often for the fight itself. But foolish or brave, Nobody could doubt the valor or the intensity. At the beginning of this year, I looked back with some despair at my fraught world and I looked forward with some trepidation. And what emerged in me was a memoir of times I had trudged through as also a strange memorial for things still to come. But I had promised myself something a long time back on that quibble called hope. Friends told me that hope was a fool's lifeboat, riddled with holes, forgone to disaster. But I had always held that it still floated. And to mix metaphors, it was still sweeter than the acid of cynicism which corroded even as it breathed. But what the despair made me do was to doubt my voice, question its potency, ask about its reachability. What it made me do is to question if everybody's pain needed to be seen with the same heart, if one wound needed to be tended and another ignored. What would this world do to my soul? And that's where I want myself and this world to again seek innocence, to trust, to have faith, to laugh, to love and maybe get destroyed in the process but at least live what is left of life in the high castle of hope. It's a beguiling wish from a fool but there are too many stories of fools who have been destroyed but whose mere idea has made us live with love, dignity and passion. A life lived with this is no mean success, however curtailed it might be. This is Sunil Bhandari and you were listening to Uncut Poetry. Did you know that I have started a newsletter called The Uncuts? 
it's a weekly and it is full of grace and music and art and poetry get the link in the show notes and did you like this episode if you did you must share it with someone you love and why not follow uncut poetry on spotify apple podcast gana jio savan google podcast or anywhere you get your podcasts so you don't miss a single episode see you next week